Hello guys, uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. My name is Evans and uh, in this video I'm continuing looking at the February March 2017 um, rather um, IGCC ICT paper 3.1. In the last video we ended on step number 17 and in this video we start with step number 18. So in step 18 says in cell F4 enter a formula to calculate the weekly wage for this employee using the annual salary from the file m17 data.csv the formula must display the weekly wage only if the pay type is w if the pay type is not w do not display anything in this cell okay so guys this is very important there are two sides uh, two aspects to this um, um, site so this part uses the if statement to find out if the pay type is w then we display the salary if the pay type is not w we don't display anything this uh, the this other part uh, finds um, the weekly wage. Okay, so you are going to use uh, VLOOKUP to retrieve the weekly wage. Okay, it's actually the annual wage, but you are going to compute the weekly wage given the information that you have. Okay, so let's go ahead and do just that. This is very easy, guys, and you shouldn't even struggle to do that. So I'll start with the formula to, to find the the weekly wage, and then I'll incorporate the if statement to. Um, to find um, the one that is going to be or let me start with the if statement so if so equal sign if so the logical test that we want is that if um, w if this one if d4 is equal to w okay if d4 is equal to w what should we do if this is the true part now I need to put W in quotes because it's a string we wanted to, to want to test it as it is if it's equal to W if this part is true then we are finding the wedge okay so I'll leave this part if this part is true then we should do something so let me just put quotes there and then if it is false we should also do something and close okay now this formula here come back here guys if this part if d4 is w then we need to find a function or do we, uh, we need to compute um, the weekly wage if it is not true then it should display blank now to display blank you simply just put empty quotes and that is going to be blank but for this one which is supposed to display something here let me just write salary uh, let me write weekly salary just for the sake of um, illustration so take note that weekly salary is because w there is a match on the first one here if this one was not if this one let's say was t it would display blank because d4 which is w is not equal to t so i've answered this part that has to do with the if statement okay so if this one is w then you need to do um you need to compute now what do you compute use the vlookup as usual so vlookup um sorry um let me just cancel this one so you're supposed to say vlookup okay and then you provide what is going to go inside the vlookup function so what is going to go inside the vlookup function so the lookup value which is this one comma the table array now the table array is actually the value that you um you you have from um from this one okay so let me just get this one this is your table array okay so what I'm going to do is to just put um, let me see just put this one there and then the column index the column index is supposed to be let me just verify the annual salary salary which is column 3 and the logical test is supposed to be false then since it's a weekly salary 
we are supposed to divide it by the number of weeks in a year. We were told at the beginning of the question paper that there will be 50 weeks and not 52. 50 weeks in each year that these guys work and then two weeks they are not paid. So instead of using 52, you use 50. And say, okay. Okay. So where, where, where are we? So just change this equal to W. Okay. And you have your value there. Now, if this method seems a little bit challenging, I'll do the other method. You start first of all with a VLOOKUP function. So you start equal to, then select the VLOOKUP, and then you're going to go for the lookup value is CR, rather which is E4, and then the table array. For the table array, you're going to select the table, this one, go back, and for the column index, you want column number three because that's where the salary is which is column c so you're going to put three and for the logical you want to have force because you want an exact match so this one gives you the annual salary now to find the um to find the weekly salary you're going to divide this one by 50. this one gives you the weekly salary now we have a condition Excuse me, guys. <coughs> sorry. Uh, sorry about that. Um, I've talked too much and I need a glass of water. And it's a bit far. <laughs> okay. So we have a condition. The condition is that if the pay type is W, then we're going to display this weekly wage. If it's not W, then we're not going to display the weekly wage. So we are going to enclose everything here. We say if, and then enclose that. So if, now, if D4 is equal to W, the true part should be the VLOOKUP part. The false part at the end of the VLOOKUP, at the end of the weekly wage, should be empty quotes and close that. Okay? So that if this is not the case, this one would display blank. And you can test this if you say, if this is T, and you see that it displays blank. If it is W, it will display the value that you have there. Okay? So I hope you guys have understood this part. Um, because it is a very important part for if you had to score 8 marks here. Okay, uh, step 19. In cell G4, enter a formula to calculate the monthly salary for this um, employee if the pay type is S. If the pay type is not S, do not display anything. Okay, again, so the same formula that you have here, you can even copy this formula and paste it, copy it and paste it there. Okay, and what you're going to do now is to change the values. Okay, so you're going to change the values from this one will be D4 as usual, but W will be S, and um, the one which was um, F4, because you copy the formula, everything has been shifted, so you just need to be careful when you do this. Um, then you need to change by divide by 50, change it to 12, and um, that should be fine okay so this should be the formula to answer that step alternatively you can go ahead and do just the hard way if you don't want to copy the formula it's fine just what you need to do is just go and type in equal to then go to VLOOKUP and then go to E4 the function rather let's start with um, yeah E4 and then that's the VLOOKUP the lookup value and then go to table array the table array is this one. Get this. Okay. And um, say okay. The column index. The column index we are returning column number three, which is the salary. And then the the lookup value or the lookup the range uh, lookup, which is a logical test, is supposed to be false. And say okay. So this one gives you the, uh, the the annual salary. 
To find the monthly salary, you divide it by 12. So this one gives you the monthly salary. Now, to answer the question that says whether you're supposed to display um, if it's um, if default is um, if the pay type is S, then you're supposed to display um, um, the uh, the monthly salary. If it's not, then don't display anything. So you're going to start if brackets then the pay type, which is default, is equal to um, quotes S. If it's true, then value. If it's true, is supposed to be this one. If it is false, then we are going to add the value if false, which is supposed to be empty quotes. Okay? And close that. And that should be the case. So as you can see, W is not equal to S in our case. And um, so it should display empty space. Okay? So next. So we've answered this um, step. And um, next, we are supposed to replicate the formula from step 17 to step 19 for all employees and apply, step 21 says, apply appropriate formatting, well, that is the currency and the decimal places. So we need to replicate this one. So we're just going to get this one, drag and drop. Okay, that's fine. And get this one and um, this one and drag and drop them too. Okay. That should be fine. Notice how I selected uh, two columns at the same time, just to reduce some time. These are some of the tricks that you can be doing with Excel um, um, as you work to improve on time. So the next one is to now apply formatting to this one. So formatting, let's start with the currency. Um, so one actually that we're supposed to apply appropriate formatting. So they're already selected. Just go to currency and number of decimal places are supposed to be two. And look out for the Indian rupee symbol. Mm -hmm. So, having not worked with the Indian rupee symbol for some time now, I'm very confident that I can find it with even without looking at it. So, even this one is the same one, even this one is a symbol. So, I think I should start, um, uh, I'll go to India and start teaching ICT in India. <laughs> because I'm now a professor at mastering the Indian rupee symbol. <laughs> If jobs were given that way, <laughs> you just go and master the currency of a country and you go and get a job in that country. Okay. So that should be perfectly fine. And um, you notice that there are blank spaces there. If it is S, um, you will see blank space here and the currency there. If it's W, you will see blank space everywhere. Okay. Next step. Um, next step is supposed to be save. I don't know how much time I've used, if I should continue or not. That's 13 minutes. Let me just, um, I'm on step number um, step number 22, and I have up to 25. Okay, let me just finish in this, um, in this video um, all the steps so that we don't um, have too many parts. Okay, so step 22, save and print the spreadsheet showing the formula. Make sure that it is in landscape orientation and the contents are fully visible. And make sure that your printouts have um, these features. Your, um, okay, so let's go ahead, um, come here, change the page layout, change it to uh, orientation, change it to landscape, and also um, make sure that um, you show the formulas. Okay, and once the formulas are shown, click on this, um, this to select the entire table, and click on the boundaries to reduce on. Um, um, to reduce on the um, the column width, okay, so that every aspect, every data is visible for all the columns that you have. Make sure that it is visible. Now, what has the question not asked us to do here? The question has not asked us to fit this printout on one page. Please, the question has not asked us to fit this printout on one page. It has also not asked us to show the column um, and row headings, so don't do that, okay? So, even if this is going to fit on multiple pages, it's fine. If this page comes out like this, then you're going to have another page which comes out like this, then another page which comes out like this, and another page which comes out like this, it's absolutely fine. Don't attempt to change anything. So just go ahead and print out this one, okay? So I won't print out this one. Um, next is step number 23. 
print the spreadsheet showing the values make sure that the printout fits on a single page um, um, single page wide again not single page but single page wide so again this is very important and the contents of the cell are fully visible so you're going to now hide the formulas and make sure that this page okay so I'm going to make it take it back to portrait orientation because it's a default and then I'm going to um, double click on the boundaries so that the text actually fits there and you see that it looks good and then I'm going to um, pr go to print and then I'll fit the width okay um, but it, it doesn't matter because the width already uh, fits on one page okay um, so that's why they say on a single page wide that's what it means so the last cell actually fits on a single page wide and the other thing is that the rows and the, I mean the column headings are supposed to be fully visible the information is supposed to be fully visible and that is perfectly fine so you can go ahead and print this at this stage okay then next step is step number 24 extract only the employees who earn less than 200 rupees a week okay and sort the extract into ascending order of surname and print the spread is showing the values make sure that it fits on a single page wide and the contents are fully visible okay so come back here go to the table get only the column heading and get the entire table okay begin including the column headings and go to data and go to um, filter so when you go to filter then you add this the, the the filter tags on top here and you can go and filter from the weekly wage C click there go to number filter and go to less than okay so it's supposed to be less than according to the question if it was less than or equal to then we know but this one is just less than 200 rupee so go here and select less than and supposed to be 200 rupee if for for, for some uh, for some uh, reason you forgot you can change the um, the um, the boolean operator here okay so ours is less than and say okay and you see that we select the values that are less than 200 rupees only the next part is to sort in the order of in ascending order of surname so go to surname or go to sort click sort here on top then sort by surname and then the order is supposed to be a to z alternatively you can click here on surname and click a to z and it will sort out that way but if there was need for evidence to show how you did this one this one is a better option because you can just simply get a screenshot of this as your method that you use to sort this in the order of surname okay and say okay and you see that they are sorted in the order of surname and go ahead and print this make sure that it is fully visible um, um, the width is fully visible and everything is perfectly fine okay so that is fine next um, next step which is the last step I guess step 25 save and print your evidence document and uh, make sure that you have entered your name center number and candidate number and that should be um, fine guys that should be it for um, this video um, you guys I hope you've learned one or two things and um, 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 thank you so much for watching this video and the, uh, the, the support that you give my my channel um, I encourage you to subscribe um, like comment and um, uh, share the video with others and um, I'll see you in the uh, June videos which I'll be starting to record uh, maybe tomorrow or so um, so that we 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 finish them as well on time so thank you so much guys and uh, God bless you so much and all the best in your exam preparations